Welcome back once again, friends. We will continue our journey into the world of Python by exploring CEP and N with respect to the print statement. Remember, we have learned the print statement, which allows us to print something onto the screen. We have also learned about the input statement, which allows us to take a user's input. Now we are going to get a little bit deeper into the print statement and learn about something called CEP and END. So let's get back to the command, the program that we had been writing. Remember, uh, you know, we had a very simple program where, you know, when we run this program, this, this code asks us, what's your name? Uh, hello world, how are you? What is your name? I answer, say Vineet. And then it answers me, uh, I mean, it prints, hello player, how are you? Now notice here, when we are printing three things, from this statement remember uh, the hello is directly ported here to say hello player because my name has been stored in the player Vineet is there that's why it prints Vineet and then finally it prints this string called how are you notice that when we do this the there is a single line spacing between each of these three elements right now some students get confused they think that's coming because we have written a single line spacing over here in the commands as well right but let's say i avoid that right let's say i i say hello player and i remove notice i've removed all spaces from here but still when i run this so uh, you know when i uh, <clears throat> when this thing runs i tell it to say we need and still it puts out a single line spacing and why is that happening can we do something else that is the first question we are going to ask right so the reason this is happening is because the way print is built right it's it's printing these three statements but in between all this it is putting a single spacing now we can change that by controlling so i'll just going to copy the statement i'm just going to copy the statement and you know uh, write it once again here but this time round i'm going to give it a another command called i, I just say in comma let's say sep equals to uh, for example this time i'll write sep equals to a, an empty string but notice this is an empty string this is not equal to this this would have been one space but i'm not giving one space i'm giving in fact an empty string and notice what will happen now is that when i run this i get let's say so i say my name is vineet and i say first i get hello vineet how are you but next time round i get hello vineet how are you but there is no spacing whatsoever between hello vineet and how are you of course there's spacing between how are you that's because remember this particular string has been directly ported onto the screen right so nothing happened to this but what sep is really doing is that it is telling us how these three elements or any number of elements of the print statement are separated from each other when the output is displayed let me say this again so if we have multiple things being printed all separated by a comma comma remember is like join apple banana so the what sep is doing is to tell us what comes in between these uh, you know these spaces now remember of course if i don't specify any sep it is like saying that sep is that of a single spacing as was the case here so if i did with single spacing i'm going to get exactly same output as earlier so i do this what's my name i go vineet and i say hello vineet how are you that was without any sep and even with the step of single spacing, I get exactly this thing because when I do not specify any step, it is same as saying the step is like a single spacing. However, I could be quite creative here. And in fact, I can go and specify step. For example, let's say I go and say I want star, say three stars to be printed between hello player and how are you? So let's see how this thing works out. Right. So when I do this, um, you know, so I get hello world. How are you? What's your name? I say Vineet. And it prints, first time it prints, hello, Vineet, how are you? Because remember, I've not provided any sep. But now I've given a string, sep, which is three stars. So I get hello, star, 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 Vineet, star, 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 how are you? Remember again that individually these elements are not changed. What is happening, what is sep is doing is really what gets printed in between these three elements, right? Now, three could be four, five, any number of uh, things in your print statement, but SEP will go exactly in between them. That's one point to see. Second point to see is that SEP will go between all the elements, which means it will end up between hello and player. It will also end up between player and how are you. If you have more things, it will also end up in between them, right? So SEP will not, you know, let you say, for example, put something in between hello and player, but not between player and how are you. It's going to add, it's going to be between all of these things, right? So let's just take a few more examples. Let's say we had SEP of uh, for example, let's say, you know, I want to say A, B, C, D, let's say. So if I did that, uh, what I would see is that I would, you know, say, what is your name? I say Vineet. Uh, sorry. So I say Vineet. When I do this, it says, hello, A, B, C, D, Vineet, A, B, C, D, how are you? Right now, you could have been a little bit more, let's say, you know, uh, uh, let's say a little bit more reader-friendly. Reader I could have given spaces in between, in which case I will get 
um, you know, so it says, what's your name? I say, Vineet. It says, first one is, hello, Vineet, how are you? There's no step in this, but over here, I've said, hello. I put an ABCD, remember both side spaces because I, I mentioned this way. Vineet, ABCD, how are you? Right, so that's the step function. Um, you know, it's it's quite interesting. So we can just take one more example. For example, let's say instead of this, I had put, for instance, let's say a plus. In fact, I could put anything. Let's just put, say, some complicated thing, right? Let's say I had put this. Then I get, let's say, uh, you know, so, so again, so my name is Vineet. And hello, say, uh, you know, plus dash star plus uh, Vineet plus uh, slash star how are you so remember step is going in between all these different elements right so now that is step make sure you are completing the you know uh, you are uh, let's say uh, not leaving quotation and un incomplete because this will result in a syntax error right notice again because just like for the print if we did not complete these quotations it results in an error we shouldn't do that yeah however if i do give it properly it's fine uh, the other problem that can happen is that I might forget this comma, right? And if I did this again, it's going to be a problem uh, because if I run this, then, you know, I, I will have issue because it's invalid syntax. I just have to make sure that I definitely give this comma, right? Now, that was SEP. As you can imagine, end is something very similar. End controls what comes what is printed at the end of printing all of this right so remember in this statement we are printing hello said player how are you what gets printed at the very end is end so for example i can take let's say you know uh, maybe over here i can just extend this command and i can say say for example end equals to perhaps i can write maybe x y z right now if i do this uh, notice what will happen is that i get uh, you know, I get, so it asks me, what's your name? I answer Vineet. It says, hello, plus dash star Vineet, plus slash star Vineet, plus slash star, how are you? And after that, it prints an X, Y, Z, right? I could put anything else. For example, let's say I put, say, you know, this at the end, I will get, you know, uh, so if I do this again, so I get, say, what's your name? Vineet, notice this time round in the end, I got three forward slashes, right? Now, one thing, if you are observant, you might have noticed already that if I do not give any end, right? If I do not, for example, here I'm providing end, but in this statement over here, I'm not providing anything in the end value. Then what happens is that scratch, oh, sorry, the, the Python interpreter inserts a what is called a new line. What that means is that the next print is going to appear on the new line, right? So notice here I said print, uh, you know, uh, hello, how are you? And that's why there was a new line created and immediately the print went on to the next line, right? Now we are going to talk more about this uh, in a subsequent le lesson because that's when we'll introduce this thing called escape characters. Uh, but for this video, it's, you know, basically simple concept, sep and end. We can put any string that we want to inside this sep and end. However, uh, sep is going to control what comes in between all these different elements, all of them. End controls what comes at the end of having printed all these things, right? So notice, uh, once I print all these things, end gets printed, right? Uh, we are going to see this in more detail, like I said, in the next video. But I hope this was useful. Uh, take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.